Hi, my name is Aaron Rhodes from Full Office Software. You are watching the RAD Editor Word Formatting Tutorial. In this session, we're going to explain the different word formatting options and how to use and apply them in various ways. During this video, there may be code examples written in either Visual Basic or C Sharp. However, the concepts are the same and code is provided for you in both languages. In this example, we'll be creating a website that has a RAD editor and a list of checkboxes that allows us to change the formatting options for Word on the fly before text is pasted in. I've started by creating an ASP.NET AJAX-enabled website. The only control I'm going to need to add to this form right now is a RAD editor. I've also added the RAD spell folder, which contains the library files for spell checking. I'm immediately going to change the skin of my editor. Web 2.0 sounds good. And run this. The reason we're running this right away is I want to show what the default behavior for format stripping options is. So here in our editor, this is all in its default state. I'm going to open a Word document. This Word document has lots of formatting with big font sizes and different colors. And we'll just select all of that and copy it to our clipboard and paste it in here. It'll ask this dialog right now. You're trying to paste in MS Word formatting. Would you like to clean it? and what it's asking is would you like to apply the current strip formatting options to the text you're pasting in here we'll click OK we don't have any options set so really when we see everything in our editor it looks about the same as it did in our Word document but by default there's a tool strip that has some of the formatting options here for instance we can strip out font elements and we can also select everything and strip out all of the formatting and then you see it's just the text that was in that Word document. Now let's look at all the possible options there are. I'll click on the RAD editor and go to the properties view. If I scroll up to behavior, the strip formatting option on paste and strip formatting options are right here. You'll see that the strip formatting options are checkboxes that can be set and the formatting options on paste are all just single options. Now the strip formatting on paste is depreciated and you'll notice when you set certain options in the strip formatting options it sets the options on paste as well. None is also the default option you can see when you click none suppress clean message they're mutually exclusive this option the suppress clean message makes it so the dialog that asks if you want to change text that's being pasted into the editor or not MS Word will remove word specific tags and preserve fonts and text sizes the specific tag words with no fonts will only preserve text sizes and not the fonts. And the MS Word Remove All will remove all of the word tags and all of the font tags. CSS will remove any CSS specific formatting. The font will remove just the font tags on paste and span remove span tags. And all except new line will strip all formatting except for new line so it'll preserve those paragraph spaces and all will just strip everything and leave just the base text that was in the Word document. Now of course you could add all those options to your toolbar of your RAD editor as was explained in the RAD editor overview video uh, but maybe you have a default tool layout for your editor that you're going to use so as an example we'll add a tool file to our project and then set the property for RAD Editor's tool file to that. 
So then when we run our project, we just have a simple set of tools, not including the word formatting. And then let's go ahead and add a checkbox list to our form. I'm going to go into the markup and add a style. This style is going to change just the location of our checkbox list. And then we're going to have to change a little bit of code. So if I double click on the form, it takes us to the page load event. And we're going to check for the post back because we only want this to happen once. And what we're going to do here is we're going to load that checkbox list with the different options dynamically based on the enumeration. The enumeration is called the editor strip formatting options. And I'm just going to paste the code in here. This is a for loop. And we're looking at the options in the enum. And we're getting the names of the options of the type of editor strip formatting options. So each one of those, we're going to create a list item and set the text to the string option that we've set in the for each loop. And then we're going to add it to the checkbox list items collection. And that's really neat. It's going to make that checkbox list show up with all the enum options. This is a really good trick you can use for any enumeration. Let's run that real quick and see what it did. Now you can see the checkbox list is aligned to the right of the editor and it's populated with list items that are actually the text for each of the options in the enumeration. Now those checkboxes don't do anything yet, so let's fix that next. I'm going to go to the designer and just double click on this checkbox list. This will create the selected index changed event and this is where our next code is going to go. First we need to create an instance of the enumeration called options and we're going to set it to the default of none. And then again we're going to need one of those for each loops. And in this loop we're going to set an option for each of the list box items that's selected. So if that list box item is selected, which is what we're populating in the for each loop. Then we're going to perform these two operations. The first operation is to actually parse through the enumeration itself for text that matches the text of the checkbox item. And then we're going to set it to this variable called option. And then we set that option and we add it to the options, which is this one right here, so that it's adding the options as we go. And then after we have all of those options discovered and set, I'm going to set the rad editor strip formatting options to the options that we set in the for loop. And that will change the options on the server side, but we need to make sure the page posts back. So in our list box, we're going to set the auto post back to true. I also know ahead of time that since the checkbox changes are going to force a post back, it's going to cause the screen to flash every time I change one of those options. So to fix that, we can add a Rad Ajax Manager and set it so when the Rad Editor or the checkbox is changed, it updates the Rad Editor. Now let's run this and see how it works out. Now I can select all the different options here, and depending on what I select, the content that I paste in will either have formatting, or in the case where I'm stripping all the formatting, it's all stripped away. This concludes our tutorial. For more information, follow the links above, and thanks for watching.